previously on Love After Lockdown. Uh, I do feel like I'm picky, but like I'm not going to give you a full list of every single thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's like that's also part of like coming into maturity and like realizing that, right? Like not everyone's going to check off all the boxes on your like impossible list. Yeah, yeah. Right, so. Hi, my name is Zach, I'm 25 and I live in Toronto. So what I hope to get out of this show is just to, I don't know, meet people, have fun, not really expecting much, to be honest. So, I mean, a nice smile is something that I'm really interested in, nice eyes, whatever happens, happens, and just go from there. My name's Chloe, I'm 22, I'm from Toronto, and I'm a sailing coach. In a partner, um, I really like ambitious people. I don't want someone who's gonna be like a deadbeat and not going anywhere in life. Um, someone who is very funny, you can have like good natural conversations with, and like, you know, I do like an attractive person. I really like tall guys, for sure. Oh gosh, why I think I'm single? Probably a combination um, of being too picky and then also kind of like loving the thrill of the chase. So then when I do find someone who's like interested back, I'm like, mm, no, never mind. The way that I normally describe my dating life to my friends, my family, they don't know anything about it. I keep my family in the dark, but my friends, I like to say that I'm dating everyone but no one. Like I go on a lot of dates and it doesn't necessarily always lead somewhere. They're like, it's a mess. That's what they think. <laughs> How's it going? Good, thank you. How are you? Good. Giving I'm, hugs? Yeah, yeah, why not? Uh, I'm Chloe. Chloe Dak. Nice to meet you. Dak? Yeah. Cool. How do you spell that? D-A-K. D-A-K. Nice and simple. Yeah. <laughs> so my name is Dakari and then I just go by Dak. Okay, Dak. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. What do you do for a living? You're a working student? So I work as a designer for a tech company. Cool. What about you? I'm a sailing coach. Um, sailing coach? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Kind of a weird job, but mm -hmm. it's really fun. Okay. Um, and I'm about to enter into my first year of law school pretty soon. Sailing coach and law school, very, okay. They go hand in hand. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Direct path to law school. Is <laughs> Absolutely, it's a bit of a pipeline, yeah. yeah. All, the, all the sailors become lawyers. We're known for it. <laughs> <laughs> did you always know you wanted to be like a lawyer or how did that happen? It was like, it was one of those things where I was just kind of always thinking about it. Like I, I took a law class in school and I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. And it's also just, I think through university, when someone's like, ooh, what do you want to do? It's just a really easy answer. Lawyer. You don't have to like be like, I don't know. And they have to like pressure you. It's just yeah, like yeah. lawyer. And everyone's like, great, okay. Well, yeah, okay. You, you passed Exactly. The test, and then <laughs> it just kind of never changed. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm kind of locked in now. We'll see how it goes. It's definitely not like you can do whatever you want. <laughs> oh, God. You know, that tuition payment went through. I'm locked this is true. in now. This is true. Yeah. You can't yeah. just switch after that. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I feel like that opens the doors for so many different areas because you can be a lawyer for so many different for kinds sure. of industries and companies and stuff like yeah. that, right? Mm -hmm. Or even like consulting, there's like, it's exactly. impressive. Like, at least I hope so. It better be impressive to have that like on a resume yeah. for like something somewhat related. I think the sailing coach is a bit more impressive, but. I'll just put them both on there. Put the most on disorganized there. resume possible. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I put it in my like, I'm pretty sure I put that in my um, application to the schools. So I think some schools must have sailing been like, coach. what is the relevance? Yeah. Yeah. That's matters. Mm -hmm. makes you a more well-rounded person, you know, at the end of the day. I think so. Yeah. I mean, I'm biased, but yeah. I think so. Uh, 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 want to do a shot? Let's do it. Okay, what cool. What do you want to drink, though? Oh, man. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a basic white girl. I would just say vodka, yeah. but oh, you, vodka, you okay. pick whatever you want. I'm not picky. A shot is I a shot. I thought the basic white girl was tequila, but... True. Tequila haunts my dreams. Okay. So but I would tequila. do it anyways. You want to do it? Okay. <laughs> we'll do two shots of tequila. Then. Okay, two shots of tequila it is. Perfect. Okay. You gotta do it. You're gonna show you me how to do, do it okay, step okay. by step. It's funny, I've, I so, always just do it straight. Okay, so first is. You lick like this part of your hand. Yeah. And then you just do some salt. Perfect, and then it'll stick. There you go. Probably did way too and much. And then there. I put the lemon, excuse my bandage finger. <laughs> you put the lemon there and then you just lick, shoot, bite. Okay, ready? Come on, you, you've never done this? I've, I've, I just do them straight. You're in for a whole different world. Take Much shot, better okay. I don't know if it actually makes a difference. I, I think it's think just so. more fun. It's more things to do. Okay, <laughs> okay ready? ready yeah. So we'll... uh. 
Right? Very nice. Isn't it a little bit better? A little less painful. Not really, actually. I don't think I need it. <laughs> oh, okay. Whatever. I need it. <laughs> Definitely not boosting at all. So tell me about your, your quarantine. What were you up to? I had... My, I entered quarantine on very wacky circumstances. Okay. I was actually in Europe with a friend. So oh, traveling. Okay. We're in Europe. Um, sort of all over. Okay. So we, like, when COVID started, we were just, like, chilling, being like, oh, what's that? Should be fine. <laughs> And then as time progressed, it just got more and more stressful. And we like, when hit the fan in Italy, we were in Northern Italy. <laughs> so we were like, oh, okay, we should probably go. Yeah. We just sort of like trailed our way west. And then eventually we had to make the call and be like, oh, it's time Gotta to go, go home. home. Yeah. yeah. When were you gonna wrap up like naturally? We still had like a month left of our oh, trip. Shit. And it was like the fun part. It was like the Italy, Greece situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was a bummer, but Damn, okay. you know what? I can't really complain. I was like having fun traveling Europe and yeah. there are worse things that could have happened. There are worse you know, things. like, yeah. oh no, my Europe trip was cut short. Yeah. Or... <laughs> Did you go on any quarantine dates or anything like that? Well, like I went on a couple dates with one person. Sure. Yeah, yeah. But it was kinda like meh. Yeah. 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 It was like attention can be fun. <laughs> but We're nothing all craving serious. that during quarantine. No, truly, yeah, no, oh, for sure. sure. And like, you know, like the classic, like, you're feeling a little bored, you need a bit of an ego boost, go to, Literally, go yeah, to a new yeah. dating app, Literally, just yeah. chat with some people you'll never speak to again, yeah, you know, kill yeah. some time. I bought a Switch. Oh, it's actually, yeah. it's dope. Just Animal Crossing. Animal Monday. Crossing, I was just gonna say, what's that game that everyone's playing? Yeah. Yep, that yeah. one. <laughs> I never played it. I don't know. In first year, I had a floor mate who would play Fallout, and I Shit. loved like going around the village and like pickpocketing people. Okay. But like the shooter part, I would just be like, no, <laughs> this is all you. <laughs> like core focus, you're like not doing that. Let me yeah, do that. Yeah, just like the, the shenanigans stuff. around town. Yeah. I was totally into that. You're into that, okay. Mm -hmm. You're not doing that in real life though. No, no. I, I that would be pretty cool wish, to know how to pickpocket. <laughs> Maybe I picked up some tricks in Europe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not a pickpocketer by trade, but, just by hobby. Yeah. Shot. Okay. Do the last shot my way, we'll do the shot your way. Just straight. straight. I love up. it. Okay, all right. Solid. Let's do it. Don't die. Oh, are you? oh. <laughs> How is it? That hurts my heart. You, you chase it with more alcohol. <laughs> so it works. Yeah. Perfect. Who needs juice when you have red wine? Mm -hmm. Do you have any other hobbies? Um, so I have a podcast I run. No way. It's pretty dope. Okay, yeah. what's it about? We cover like relevant news and topics from like a marketing perspective. For uh, sure. Yeah, we just we do it every week, so it's easy to talk about just whatever happened during that week. Like Kanye and the Gap. What are your thoughts? We didn't talk about that. You no. should. We should have. That's so pressing because yeah. he's also like, is he okay? Yeah, it's going a little. Yeah, I don't know. Is the it Gap? I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be a good partnership, though. I'm excited. Yeah, because we can't afford. Well, I can't afford Yeezy, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when it's like a hundred dollars, then I'm talking, you know, but. Five hundred dollars, probably not. No, yeah, not for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Are you like a big Kanye fan? Um, not necessarily. I mean, he has some cool music. It's just some cool music. <laughs> Are you a big Kanye fan? Yeah. Is this like a big faux pas? <laughs> Should I go? <laughs> That's funny. What was your first impression of me when you walked? Well, in? first impression. Yeah. Honestly, like I didn't know what to expect. I was more literally before I walked out. I like was like, am I nervous? And I was like, bit. oh my gosh, I am nervous. Yeah. I think, I think you're a cutie. You you look very like put together, well dressed. Okay. Did, right. I, did I, I hope I did okay. 100%, I like the leopard print for Thank sure. Thank you, yeah. okay, I wasn't sure. I asked my roommate, I'm like, mm, whichever. You kind of got to go all for it. Like with the leopard prints, like either the person's going to love it or they're going to hate it. And I like the risk. I okay, the cool. Risk. Yeah, oh, yeah. risk. Okay, cool. <laughs> and you have a nice smile. You're definitely very oh, attractive. Thank so. you. Yeah. Thank you. You're cute you can, too. You can drink to that. Oh, oh, oh to being attractive. <laughs> being attractive. <laughs> Am I typically look wise the type of person you go with? or? I've only like dated two people and they're both like, tall white dudes so like i don't know i don't i wouldn't call that a That's type me, though much, yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. you look just like them <laughs> <laughs> no like to me it's i don't like actively seek that i just think like you know i went to queen's university say no more yeah, yeah the yeah. the candidate pool is mostly caucasian <laughs> but I, I i'm not someone who's like mm, no that's messed up i would never do that yeah yeah I did my best to avoid dating anyone <laughs> at queen's but yeah. you know the nights are cold yeah <laughs> Because I haven't dated anyone long term, but people I've uh, maybe dated for, like maybe for a few months or something like that, mm -hmm. they've all looked different in my opinion. 
So okay, true. I don't really think I, in my opinion, yeah, okay. maybe my friends might think different, but <laughs> I think I think typically they've all looked different. Typically, usually like a little bit older than I am, but interesting. You go for the cougars. Why not? You know, thirty-five that- to forty is like my window. Are you I'm kidding? kidding. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no judgment, How but that would just be so interesting. I'm 22. Oh, I'm not going to cut it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like, typically, I'm like, oh, I want to date someone who's older. Because mm-hmm. especially, like, going to Queens, it's a bunch of frat boys. Sure. Yeah, yeah. You're tight. But it has noise. <laughs> Absolutely not. I actively am like, goodbye. Uh, nope. I, like, the last person I dated was actually two years younger than me. And that oh, was yeah. a wild ride. Yeah. Oh, what was I thinking? Was it thinking? noticeable? Very noticeable, the age? So noticeable. Okay. Yeah, like, to be honest, that was more of, like, a, like, oh, you know, like, I had a falling out with my friends, and, like, you're nice to look at. Sure. <laughs> yeah. It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. Thank you for under- I hope you're not, like, being nice and, like, being like, oh, for sure, but in your head, like, judging, but... No, you're, what, 21 at the time? 22? Yeah. He was like a friend of a friend. So I was like, well, your friends are really fun and you're like fun to be around. I mean, like, are we going to get married? Certainly not. Yeah. But like, me. You do you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Do you want to take off? I think so. (laughs) One last drink? Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. All right, let's get going. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Should we do a hug? Yeah. We, we've already hugged once, you know. Yeah. We have COVID. Yeah. We've transmitted it. Okay. Okay, sure. Bye. My first impression, I don't know if I really had an image in mind. So, I don't know. I was like, oh, okay, there's a person. I, I had no idea to expect. So, my first impression was nice. He looked well-dressed, put together. That's nice. Like, I wasn't, like, super physically attracted to him. I feel like that kind of comes later to me. Um, But he was, like, very attractive. I think once I get to, like, know someone more on, like, a mental level, then that's where, like, the physical attraction comes. I'm not, like, someone to, like, jump someone's bones right away. (laughs) I think it went well. Like, I think he was enjoying it. Like, we seemed to be, like, laughing. We're both very much, like, if it works, if it works. If it doesn't, no sweat. I almost always go on a second date. It's the second date is where... (laughs) If things aren't gonna work, that's where it like really shows. Chloe's dope, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think, yeah, she was she's obviously really pretty. Um, I think we vibed kind of off the bat, so it was a lot of fun. In terms of expectations, like she came in, she had the leopard print, so I'm like, she's gonna want to turn up a bit. So I think she matched my expectation from the start. Yeah, I would say I was physically attracted to Chloe. Uh, I'd go on a second date. I don't necessarily think it would like end up anywhere romantically. I know we joked about, like, everyone says, let's be friends, but I'd actually probably be friends with her. So we'll see how that goes. Yo, yo. Oh, hello again. Long time no see, long time no <laughs> yeah, see. Yeah, like five minutes, right? Yeah. Yeah. In a while. Ladies first. <laughs> I'm down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would be down to, to hang out again. Okay. I don't know if there's like off the bat if there's like a romantic connection there okay. yet. But I got I I kind of see where you're coming from. Yeah. Okay. But, but we could see if there's we'll something see. there, you know. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. So so we would. Yeah. Yeah. You're chill. You're chill. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're like surprised, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we would just kind of see where it goes, like maybe start as friends and then and then go from there. There was like I don't know how to describe that. You didn't want to jump over the table and grab me? No, no sorry. <laughs> I mean, would you have liked me to? That would be pretty dope. For <laughs> Maybe the friendly vibe would go away. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. I, I, like think, a, I think a second date is definitely the, the, the move. Nice. Next time on Love After Lockdown. Yeah, so after all three dates, I just decided to choose 